Hello. We are today going to Keeling. It's a little village along from Weybong. Um, we come out of the site yesterday and it looks a bit iffy down on this part of the footpath, but there's actually a footpath in the woodland that you can walk along the side of the road that goes along around the base of Mucklebur Hill. So we're taking that footpath. It's quite nice in here, mixed broadleaf woodland. We've got hawthorn, oak, silver birch, lots of bits and pieces like that, bracken on the floor, some nice honeysuckle. It's lovely. So we're going to do the other half of that sort of circular walk we did uh, yesterday and go and see if we can see some shorebirds because uh, I don't know if you see that in the last video there's a black-tailed godwit there. What a beautiful wading bird. Oh my god. Go and have a look at the other video. Beautiful wading bird. So we're going to go and see if we can see anything else like it really. So we thought we'd take you along again for a little walk. Get you out now fresh air. Happy days, eh? So keep watching. See you in a bit. Right, so behind me here is the uh, pond that the Blacktail Godwit was on yesterday. So we've basically come the other direction. And we're going to go down here now, because it's a public footpath. A Norfolk County Council footpath with a footpath sign on it. So we're going to walk up this bit. So basically, if you look over here, that is where we walked yesterday, right away along there and we come up onto the gravel bank over here. So today, we're going to, we're just taking a different route. Uh, it's about the same distance to get to the gravel bank. It's not any, any longer really, I don't think. It's not a bad walk. I did think we were going to have to walk on a road, but you can walk off the road at all times. It's not very good for um, disability scooters or anything like that. You might have to go along the road. It's quite um, up and downy through that through that nature reserve here but um yeah all in all that's quite a nice little walk when you get to the end of it there's a schoolyard and um, a tea room and the tea room was open bearing in mind we're in lockdown the tea room or oh, just coming out of lockdown but that little tea room for tourists is open I look through the window there's a few people in there they can only take 20 customers at a time and they had the face masks on the full face uh, visors so all good health and safety so if you want to walk down that way and have a cup of tea and a cake it's a nice little place really nice so I'm just going to walk up to the shoreline now because there's a few little shore ponds there on the other side of that shingle bank and uh, have a little look see what's there get some photographs oh there's <laughs> there's a there's a hoofing great big heifer in the uh, what's that I think that's Angelica it's just scared the uh, just the, scared the gravy out of Sammy. Hello, Gil. Right, get you a bit. So 
So we've got a nice family of mute swans there. The first one here you're looking at is the male. This has got that big knob on the top of his bill. And there's one, two, three, four, five, five signets. And there's mum bringing up the rear. She's got a slightly less, less of a bulge on the top of her bill. Yeah, lovely little family of mute swans. How beautiful. Do love a swan who's stretching his wing out. Oh, lovely. Cool, eh? So we're on this beach approach road now and we've come all the way, all the way along there. If you look over there just above where the cows are, it's the military base. So we're going to now walk all the way back along the shingly bank. Pucker. It's going to be hard going and very windy because we're down out the uh, sort of on the lee side of a shingle bank now. And uh, the wind is being very kind to us because it's skipping over the top of us. But in a minute, we're going to get absolutely sandblasted. Well, not sandblasted because it's all stones. Quite nice. Quite a nice shingly beach. Uh, we're heading over to where the cows are because cows are not silly, you know. Now we'll find a little bit out of the wind and out of the rain and splodge down so we're going to head over to that grassy lump now I'm zooming in on now find a spot find a spot out of the wind and have some lunch it's two o'clock now we can get just got some nice ones in that pool that you could see there's a red shank with three chicks and a plover which is quite cool but we're going to stop here and have something to eat because there's loads of things flying around us here linnets pipits stone chats we'll just stop here because I think we're going to get um, I think we might be getting a bit wet soon Oh dear. But let's have a bit to eat. Catch you in a bit. up that bank. Oh, flipping hell. Look at it. Surf's up, dude.
think we're going to go down the other side and back over the bank where it's not so windy but you can see how windy it is here as soon as you get down here where the cows are survival tip 101 head to the cows Whew, that's better oh, a little egg rip just flown up over there just seen the curlew Field over here. Get this windy. Just seen an old boy, a bird watch. Funny old bloke, you know. This old boy was trying to photograph some linnets on a fence and he went, they're linnets? I went, yeah they are. I said, have you seen anything yet? He went, I've just got here. I'm like, well so have I and I've just seen some linnets. I tell you, people. Anyway, we're going to walk. We're going to walk right over here now. Right over back there. That's the military base over there. And that hill over there is where we want to be. So, we're going to get a tramp on. Come on, Samantha. A lovely plant here. I've seen before, it's sea lavender. You can see that. Look at that. Nice, eh? I like walking along places like this. Sometimes you see things that you've never seen before. So, it's a new one on me, that one. Anyway, we've got a walk right over there Better get a tramp on a yeah, couple of little egrets took off over there see them in the distance we've just got to walk down this sandbank now because over the other side of this sandbank is Apocalypto Wavesville and um, the uh, spray is like torrential rain so we're going to walk along this side now until we get to that little orange dot in the distance which is where we was yesterday Woo! Gonna leave that one here. We're back at the military base now, which is just behind me. Over here somewhere, great big guns on the beach. Um, yeah, it's a bit blowy. Tomorrow we're going to go down here. Down there, there's some big uh, sand cliffs up there, which I think is where the, well, I think that's where the old sand mines are nesting. So we're gonna go and have a look over so, I hope you enjoyed that little video. It's a bit blowy, I've left Sammy down there. Uh, because, to be fair, I'm looking up here looking for my glasses, because I lost a pair of glasses yesterday. That's the third pair of smashed, broken, lost this year. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. 